Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video we will see, who you can use Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi hotspot at the same time. Yes, this feature exists from Android 11, but some of the companies don't allow the use of Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi hotspot at the same time, even in Android 12 and 13. So this video is for you guys, watch the video till the end. Some of the stock ROMs support this feature like Motorola phones. Some of the OnePlus phones and some of the Xiaomi phones support this feature. And all are the custom ROMs have this feature since Android 10. So in this video I'm using Redmi Note 7 Pro with Android 11. So how are we going to use Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi hotspot at the same time? So you need to download one application from the Play Store, that is Tetherfee. I have given the link in the description so please to check it out. After opening the application, you will find the user-friendly experience with the application and, it is so simple to understand. Here you can edit your hotspot name, but that prefix name will be there with your hotspot name. You can also set your own password, and the proxy port number is mandatory. Do not change the port number here. Now here to run in the background. You need to disable optimization for this application. So just click on Always Alive tab and find the application here and disable the optimization. Now here you can choose whether you want to point for GHz or 5 GHz Wi-Fi hotspot. Once you have all these changes, just up and click on the Start button. Give the necessary permissions if you see this kind of error on your screen, just click on the refresh button. Here you can see Wi-Fi hotspot is created. You can also share this via QR code. And you can see on the status bar unconnected to a Wi-Fi network. Let me scan this on my other device. You can see on the right side. Using another device to connect this hotspot via QR code. As you can see it's connected but showing no internet access. So you need to go into advanced settings to do some settings. Now here select the proxy setting. And change it to the manual configuration. And in the manual configuration, type the proxy URL as shown in the application. And port number as given in your hotspot settings. Now you can see it showing connected and having the internet access so you have successfully connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot connection. You can also manage the connected devices in the connection section. Now we will see how you can connect it with your PC or laptop. Let me disconnect from my home Wi-Fi network. Now you can see there are two Wi-Fi hotspots from two different devices. One is from the OnePlus 6T and another from Redmi Note 7 Pro. After connecting you can see the same. There is no internet connection on our Wi-Fi, so now we need to do some proxy settings. Norton on the proxy and enter the same proxy IP and port number that we have configured earlier. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.